Welcome to Yes You Can Today. My name is Lotan Okoye and I'm glad to know you are there. It's very important the things we are sharing now, very strategic and fundamental in the life of young people, especially the singles. And for you that are married, if you are on, on board, um, I would like to you to listen. Um, you can also help to teach others, really, because um, you are already married. You, you may not be able to change the situation. Uh, once you're married, you're married, okay? Um, I've been sharing with you the types of men you should not marry. So when you see any of these uh, features and characteristics in someone, you will need to be careful and uh, do your best to be sure you don't end up with that person. Now, today I'm continuing with point number four. And point number four says, do not marry a visionless person, a visionless man. If that man doesn't have a vision, if that man does not have a hope, he's a hopeless person. I use the word hopeless because we have a lot of people actually, they don't have direction about their life. The man is meant to be the captain of the boat. The man is meant to be uh, the provider in the home. And now if he doesn't have a direction of where his life is going to, I wonder what is going to happen to you and that relationship. Now, you are meant to follow the vision of the man as a woman. The women are deputy governors for life. You can criticize that, but that's true. You are the neck, the man is the head. Now, in your submission, your ability to submit to the man helps you to turn the head very well. Actually, you can turn it at will, but you must be submitted. Now, it's important that you learn to submit, including your vision as a woman, to the man. Then, if you now get married to a man that doesn't have a vision, that's a problem. Now, there's a difference between vision and ambition that's a topic for another day i've told you on this platform you will be transformed your life will be changed there are a couple of things you've been listening to that is going to change your life so that's why you need to join the community get your guys get your friends to be part of now you know this daily broadcast now listen to me it's very important you know as a man that you need to develop your vision again you marry in line with your passion someone that is moving your way somebody that is moving your direction the problem is that many people get married to somebody that is visionless that doesn't have a direction and then they kill their destiny you can actually sabotage your destiny yourself so i like for you to stay tuned it's important you find someone that have a clear passion that have a hunger for something that have somewhere he's going to that have a clarity about what his life is all about if not you enter a boat and just one jonah can sink your boat as a woman you have something already in mind where you are going to but when you marry the wrong person everything is over i can assure you that in the beginning it's going to sound as if it's a joke but this guy instead of encouraging you start discouraging you instead of helping you to you know find your feet can mess up the whole thing right now the next kind of person you should not marry is a stingy man a man that is stingy and part of the way you know he's stingy is that he doesn't give to you now or he gives to only you and don't give to others he's a stingy person he's giving to you because you are the girl involved in his life but when he doesn't give to his family members he doesn't give to his brothers he doesn't give to his siblings he doesn't give to needy people around him he is a stingy person when he talks about helping people he hears that around and he's angry about it he's agitated about it it's simply because he's a stingy person so look at this truth before you get married and say yes to anybody, you need to look deep and very deep and not just about the, what you say at the surface level. So look at how much he gives to God. Look at how much he gives even in his offering. Check if he pays his tithes. Mm. Very important. Check his kingdom investment. Does he give in the church? Does he participate in anything given? Then check how much he gives to himself. If he's a non-believer, you're going to see he gives to himself more than he gives to anybody. For example, when he goes out to drink with his friends, he drinks in thousands and it's not a problem. But when they talk about giving in church, he complains. You will need to be careful about this kind of guys. If he does not give to God, he will still not give to you on the long run. I'd like to stop here for today. I've just given you two. We're on a journey. So stay tuned, stay attentive and do not for any reason leave the platform. Get your guys to be on board. Like it, you know, share it and make sure you get all your friends to join this broadcast every day. God bless you. I will see you tomorrow. My name is Lutana Okoye.